What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our last epic training guide for the Spanish League attackers. So we've done Morientes, we've done David Villa, we've got two brilliant builds of each of those cards and we've got a GP alternative. And listen, there is no real equal for Samuel Eto'o, right? He is an absolute assassin up front. He's down as a goal poacher, he's got blistering pace, as you see there, 88 acceleration with 87 uh, speed straight off the rip with the booster i mean it's incredible he's got a wavering form uh he looks like a beast soul control he's got cut behind and turn he has got first time shot he doesn't have double touch i would say throwing double touch on him would be i mean out of this world in in terms of what you could do with him but he doesn't have the dribbling to back up a lot of what this card could be especially that tight possession and this is where they've started to balance the cards a little bit, is with that balance stat and with that type possession stat, which are both extremely important for players that you actually dribble with, okay? So that is something to keep in mind when we're, when we're looking at two of these builds. Forget about using him on a wide area, lads. This is literally a turn and run and gun, the most run and gun player that you can possibly have. You know, Romario, Mike alone, Samuel Eto'o, uh, Mbappe, pace, power, striking ability, and scoring goals that's it he's your main go-to goal scorer and that's that's how you play him right um so you're going to be playing a lot of ball to feet and stuff like that right now when we actually go over here we're going to take two bills and we're going to take a quick look at samuel Leto. now player skills are a little bit more tricky with these bills because it depends on you're not going to be look one touch pass and double touch are a mainstay for any card that you dribble with Double touch if you like to be comfortable on the ball and play a bit of possession. One touch pass if you want to just st start counter attacks or you want to just be able to not have to boost up anything with his low pass, right? His low passing, if you are going to use Sami Ito and not throwing player skills on him, such as one touch pass, he doesn't have header, he doesn't have um, a couple of player skills there that you would be missing, I would say. Uh, he does have gamesmanship, but I would say that, you know, chip shot control is a very, very good one to be able to give him if he did have that to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Um, first time shot is nice, but one touch pass. So you can kind of mess around with that yourself if you have any legacy trainer, trainers that you can do. But speaking on the build itself, we've gone very saucy with the dribbling. 12 into dribbling, 8 into dexterity and lower body. You've got 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 73 balance and 86 stamina. They'll all be getting a plus 2 boost. So speed will go to 95, acceleration 96 and yada yada yada, on and on and on. So when we look at this card, we're also going to have 88 in finishing and offensive awareness. It's a good build, but it's not the best build. I don't think you need to have that much dribbling, right? Even if you take down the dribbling here, I know I said tight possession is very, very important, but if you take down the dribble in here and you were to take away the aerial strength and throw it into this, you're going to have a card that's going to be 99 acceleration with the booster with 76 balance. And that's kind of where we're going to be going with the next build of the card, right? So the next version of him is the ultimate version of him, in my opinion, right? I know for a fact that this build of it is going to be an insane beast, right? And I'll tell you why. His offensive awareness and finishing are over 90, which is huge. He also have curl over 80, dribble and a ball control over 80, which is huge. His tight possession, that is going to be a bit of a problem, but you will be using your attacking midfielder or your wingers for that tricky kind of one-on-one -on -one dribbling to be able to entice your opponent in and then boom, hit him like the anaconda and strike. Samuel Eto is going to be run in straight lines, you know, very, very uh, good control of him and literally just kind of run in straight lines and score the minute that you get the ball at his feet, right? But the big strength of Samuel Eto'o here with this build is his acceleration and his balance, which are going to get a boost. Balance is a huge one, right? And we've actually flipped the script a little bit on this one because of the physical contact. We've got it over 70 on this build. And the reason for that is because of the tight possession and the changes to that, which I will get into in the live streams that I'm going to be doing and talk about it in more depth because they've made big changes to tight possession and balance. But we're going to have balance over 80. Acceleration is going to go to like 102 overall. Um, and it's he's just going to be so fast, man. Now, obviously, if you're looking for a GP alternative, I would say the only man to really recommend would be uh, Mbappe, right? Mbappe is probably the only guy. You've still got that tight possession at a similar uh, clip. You've got the speed. You've got the acceleration. You've got all of that as normal with Mbappe. And then, of course, you do have a little bit more uh, stamina and stuff like that if you wanted to. It's a very, very nice card to have, even if you want to just get Mbappe and use him as a sub or whatever. He is a beast. But that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. And of course, let me know if you did spin or skip for any of these players. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.